my name is Viviane Coas and I am a Brazilian cross-cultural professional with expertise in international business communications. It's important to be aware of all the diversity, that it's a mix. What makes the Brazilian culture very unique is the mix of different cultures that were incorporated to our society, like the Italians and the Germans and the Jewish people, the Japanese people, and even the Dutch people have, a, well, the north coast of Brazil until the 17th century used to belong to the Dutch. So uh, it's important to know a little bit of the history, about the culture, the diversity, the contrasts, the complexity that all this contrast and diversity uh, represents. It's a very warming environment, but at the same time it's very competitive. And um, the relationships, the personal relationships, play a, a core value when establishing, establishing your business. I think it's important to be very open-minded, willing to dive into the Brazilian history, uh, the culture and the diversity. Again, it's very important to understand how this diversity plays a role in the Brazilian environment for business. Um, I think it's important if, uh, if this enterprise is taken further in the Brazilian culture that um, Everyone involved might get a proper training, might be properly coached by professionals in the area that can help them to understand better all these differences and the diversity and how the interpersonal relationships play important role um, and it crosses the corporation's borders. So we really need to dive outside of the corporation environment to understand how it plays a role inside of the corporation as well. You can say Brazilian people are extremely adaptable, very flexible, hard workers. They're creative and innovative because they are exposed to such a extent to this harsh environment to thrive on their business and it makes them very resilient to survive to crises, economical crises. We had uh, several historical crises in our country and people still manage to keep going on with their lives and thriving with their business with a lot of difficulties. I think there's a, there is a lot of good examples that are flourishing in this harsh environment. A lot of entrepreneurs that are investing in education. People are getting more interested in understanding our gaps in um, education, politics, and in the economy. And I believe that this harsh situation that we go currently in the country somehow triggers the opposite behavior to flourish as well. So I see a lot of people more interested in understanding how we can make a better future with all the natural resources and the abundance that we have in our country. Mm -hmm.